and whether you take on the challenge is entirely up to you. arrived myself, so I'm still getting ready. Oh, and Kale just passed by a moment ago. She said she had some things to sort out at the inn where she's staying, but she'll meet up with us when she's done. Apparently, Tainari and Sino both went out, but she stayed behind because she wanted to help us. Not too bad. After reviewing it again with fresh eyes, I came up with a new theory which seems to hold some water. I'll attempt to explain it as simply as I can. I believe that each of the four things in the prophecy refers to a different field of knowledge. So, in a way, the prophecy is a test of the reader's intelligence. But it's unlikely for any one person to have expertise in all these different areas. So I suggest that we seek out one expert from each and get their opinion. Also, in two out of the four areas, the prophecy seems to want us to find specific people. It may even turn out that the people themselves are the answers. So it sounds like we should put our heads together and list out the people who can help us. Exactly. I think we can go through each riddle in turn and generate four groups of names to match the four questions. Alright, then let's start from group one. The first riddle was... A flower that is not of this world. Personally, I would still go with Albedo for this one. Alchemy is the most likely to have to do with otherworldly things, and he is by far the leading expert in this regard. Exactly! You're the creator of the Tetratanic Sweet Flower! Who knows? Maybe that's the flower we're looking for! Huh? You really think so? <laughs> oh, but what about Tainari? He's a forest watcher and knows all about plants. If it's a flower we're looking for, maybe he's the man for the job. All right, I'll add him to the list as well. On to group two. This subject is a guide who will never get lost. Hmm, that's kind of abstract. Hmm, does it just mean someone who never loses their way? Wait, but they have to be able to guide others too. So it's not quite as simple as that. Oh, you mean Mona? Yeah, she definitely... She certainly seems very confident. And she can use her astrology to guide people. Would Bennett count? Well, his luck's so bad that as long as you go in the opposite direction from him, you'll always be going the right way, right? Hmm, I see. I, I suppose I can't argue with that logic. Add him to the list! Finding everyone won't take long, so one extra person won't hurt. <sighs> I know. Would Outrider Amber be a valid candidate for this category as well? Yeah, she would! She's got a great sense of direction after all. As a matter of fact, when the Traveler and Paimon first came to Mondstadt, she was actually the one who gave us directions. Yes, she's certainly a good guide. Is there anyone else? Let me think. Ah, yes, I believe there may be one more. Albedo once made a set of equipment for Mika from the reconnaissance company. He's their surveyor and an exceptional pathfinder. He's even instructed others in the discipline of surveying before. So in my view, he's highly unlikely to lose his way and would be very good at helping others find theirs. Cool, another one for our list. Wait, Kale should have been here by now. Wonder what's taking her so long. M sorry, could we continue our chat somewhere else? Oh, you wanna go see how she's doing, right? Sure, let's all go.